Hello everybody. I just am getting home. Well, not just getting home. Um, uh, maybe 40 minutes ago. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It's so bad. But it's probably around 3, 3.15 in the morning. I get home about 2, 2.30. So, um, tonight was just one of those crazy nights at work. I don't know. I, if you don't watch my channel and you just happen to come across this video, I work three hours away from my job and I'm a respiratory therapist and I did something tonight that just totally, it's blowing my mind and I'm feeling quite defeated. I know most of us have jobs outside of our hobby and usually I'm quite confident in my job and tonight I'm just like, oh my God, moment happened just completely defeated from that and I was so upset I went to my husband's job and I told him about it and I'm just like I can't believe this happened I can't tell you details because I'm not allowed but basically I had a patient and I didn't know what was wrong <sighs> anyway I called another therapist they were busy I called another therapist they were busy but they ended up calling someone else for me and they came and looked and they called me and they were like hey Brie da 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 and I was like oh my god oh my god I don't even know so I just totally needed to pick me up well anyway I'm all uncoveted right now clean showered everything and I'm in my Christmas Eve pajamas because they make me happy and I'm going to do a what I have bought in January haul and I promise I'm done for the month I need to be done for quite a long time so if there's not one of these videos for quite a while it's because I really don't need anything I really have so many things to catch up on and I haven't gotten diddly squat done since even before the holidays it's just crazy crazy so anyway let's just get into it um at walmart i went and i got one yard of red fabric fabric which i told you i like to get my solids at walmart they're very inexpensive this was three dollars and 44 cents for the yard and it's i love their solid fabric i i don't have any problems with it so why not they also happen to have this pear pill on sale for two dollars and fifty cents a yard and there was four yards so for ten dollars I got four yards of purple which I actually need this to finish my daughter's frozen quilt so I was stoked yay how often do you find the color you need on sale two dollars and fifty cents a yard amazing love Walmart and also while I was there Every Christmas I want some of this stuff and it's always, always sold out. And I don't know, now that I have it, I'm like, it might not make it to Christmas. I might some do little know me thing or something on the embroidery machine. I don't even know. But I got this and it was $1.86. Um, I don't know what it is. It's 8 inches by 54 inches. A lot of fur for $1.86. I'll be able to do plenty with it. Whatever I want so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, I, I heard of this place a while back and I ordered from them probably three or four times not too many but when I do order from them I order a bunch from them I I like their fabrics as well as any others I mean I I'm not a super picky person so it doesn't really bother me but if you have heard of Marshall Dry Goods, that's where I went online shopping. It's dangerous, dangerous. I could spend probably thousands because I like almost everything I got. I don't remember what I got, but there's so many things that I do like that I know I'm going to like everything in here. I'm just going to pull the first thing I can out. <sighs> okay. So this is 
You know what? I wonder if I should. I usually leave the plastic on to like break it out, but I don't know if you can see. It's all glary, but basically it's a gray tonal. It's um, super cute, and I am going to start using this as my background for what two quilts usually is. It's a 15 yard bolt. So it depends on if I use it as a backing. It might only be one, one and a half, but you know, anyway. You can't go wrong with it. Oh, ta -ta. okay. This is a, I don't remember what it was called, navy or if it was dark blue. I don't remember, but this is one of their um, collections they have. <clears throat> They've had it every time I've gone onto the website and gone shopping. This is the first time I've bought it. Um, it is, a, it's not very sharp. It's a little, it's a little muffled. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, that doesn't bother me at all. But if that bothers you, just, you know got to make up your own mind whether it does or doesn't but another 15 yard bolt of this I am planning on doing a like this color blue and yellow like flowery quilt I just thought this would be a great border possible I don't remember if I had backing for that one but whatever scraps I have left over I could certainly do another quilt with this so and plus it's blue like I'm gonna use that too right do, do, do. Oh, there's two more. I got two more. Jesus. Oh, yay! <laughs> this is an off white beige ish with like a top taupe. Taupe, I think is how you say it. Little squirrely gigs. I know it's glary. I'm so sorry. But this would be perfect for a background. And, and a backing either I mean it's like wonderful you I'm telling you you can't go wrong <clears throat> I'm usually fairly selective in what I buy and if I especially if I'm buying on the bolt I make sure it's like something I can use for a lot of things because I made that mistake once and I still haven't used it I will use it eventually but it's like a panel bolt I'm thinking about doing like a Chanel quilt. I've never done one because I have multiple panels. So perfect, right? The last one. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. I got my white. Good, because I'm out of my white. So I have my white now. Thank you, Jesus. And this is a 25 yard bolt. It is. Let me make sure. Yes, 25 yard bolt. So hopefully it lasts me longer than the previous white bolts because the previous white bolts seem to disappear like nothing. <laughs> and I don't even like white in my quilts. They just tend to eat them up. Oh, see the goodies. I forgot about this. <laughs> I might have something coming that this might go with because I don't think I have all my packages quite yet. I think there's another package. <laughs> Is this not the coolest peacock you have ever seen in your life? <laughs> if you don't know how much I like peacocks, I like peacocks so much like they used to have when we lived in Florida, wild peacocks at the cemetery, and I would go to the cemetery and just chill. <laughs> oh, yes, I love my peacocks. In fact, my wedding was peacock-themed. No lies. Uh, this is... I can... I'm pretty sure it's an older line. Not 100%. This is a free spirit fabric called Peacock Paradise. It's 
stoked, stoked about this. I should have probably bought all they had, huh? If I love it that much. Oh no, oh no. I got my four bolts because I got those, the stuff that I needed. So that was from Marshall Dry Goods. <clears throat> so Walmart, Marshall White Dry Goods, guess who's left? You already know. It would be Missouri Star Quilt Company. I need to stop going to their website daily. It's just out of control at this point. It's so out of control. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this stuff now. Like I keep telling myself, I want to put it all together. I want to put it all together. I can't even... I don't know if you've noticed, but I've rearranged this room like a couple times in the last, I don't know, month or so. Right before Christmas, I did tried it and like since then I've changing things changing things trying to figure out a way to get everything together it's not going well but if I can move my chair if you can see all ooh, 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 right there I should like right there that's all my batting in one place and then there's psh, right there those are my bolts and that is like one yard cuts two yard cuts three yard cuts whatever that's not on a bolt that is none of my jelly rolls none of my charm packs none of my layer cakes I do have some room on the shelf but I'm just not even sure how to organize it anymore. I love to have my jelly rolls displayed and my layer cakes and charm packs displayed, but there's no way at this point. There's just no way. That's how far behind I am. I'm truly gonna stop shopping, I swear. I swear I am. Okay, Missouri Star, here we go. This is in a bag. And out the bag comes um what is that? Five floor, floor graphics five. I know it's glary from the wrapping. I don't want to take the wrapping off. You know what, I will, because I think I can reseal that. I'll just flip through real quick. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful, beautiful line. Like, I want to just do something with this, like, tonight. But I can't, because I'm sure it's going on four in the morning. It's almost batik looking. Let me see what it says. It's definitely printed. It's definitely not a batik, but it has that sort of vibe to it. Yay! And I have stuff saved in my wish list, like the backing and some of the fabric that I would like to use with it as the border. It may never happen because I just said I'm not gonna be doing any more shopping. The only reason I did this much shopping is because I had I had money from, oh, I broke it. How did that happen? I had money from Christmas, and um, I had a little bit of money left over from the stimulus after I paid bills and stuff, so. Yeah, that's why I went so much shopping. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that's that. I, got, I don't know what this is. 
I really have absolutely no idea what this is. And it's wrapped in paper, and I mean wrapped really good. This is like shipping tape around the brown paper. What is this? This is a, um, is it five or, s yeah, it's a six inch, why, my brain, uh, six inch ruler, <clears throat> and the reason I got this is because, like, I need another ruler, like, I need another hole in my head, but I'm squaring up all these triangles for my father-in-law's quilt, and I have this big 12 inch square up ruler, which it works, but it's, <clears throat> This will be in, coming in handy, as I don't have the clearly perfect slotted trimmer, <clears throat> and this was on sale. Surprise, surprise. It was on sale. I've got to get it. It's on sale. I don't know. It was on sale for a good price, <clears throat> like six, seven dollars-ish, which this is my favorite kind of ruler, if you guys don't know, Omnigrip. I don't know if it's because it's the first ruler I bought. But it is definitely my favorite. I have tried to use other people's rulers that are not Omnigrip, and I'm like, where's the lines? I can't see the lines. I love these rulers. <clears throat> okay. And of course, they always send a card from Robert. <clears throat> Thank you for packing my package, Robert. Okay, first things first, I got another template, like I need another hole in my head. Um, I think this is the large rhombus, but I feel like it's not that big. I thought it was going to be bigger, but this is the large rhombus, and she has, I don't know how many tutorials with this particular ruler, and I have my own ideas with this or anyway so <clears throat> it was one of those daily deals I think I think it was two bucks three bucks I don't remember but it was a very good deal so I was like Psh, get <clears throat> and I don't know why but apparently that day I got a pattern this was probably also on sale maybe it was a together thing I don't really remember but this is the floss bracelet I think it's a beautiful pattern I don't normally buy patterns because I just make my own stuff up but every once in a great while I do get patterns so you're gonna see next I just said I don't buy patterns but <laughs> so pattern If you watch Missouri Star Quilt Company tutorials, or their triple plays, or if you watch the block party, you will already know what I'm about to say. Their block magazine is phenomenal. It's really not that expensive. Every book comes with eight to ten patterns I believe I don't even remember I bought a set not that long ago I didn't do a video on it because I wasn't doing videos at the time but I was looking through those magazines and I was just like oh there's another one I want to do added to the list Ooh, there's another one I want to do added to the list and it's all right there <clears throat> so I don't remember 
Oh, this is, I think I got 2017 before. And this one is 2018, this set. Now, these books are, they're heavenly, they're heavenly. I mean, hello, who doesn't want to do that already? Like, yeah, I want to do that. Want to do that one? Want to do that one? Look at the little candy one. I know I've seen the tutorial on it, but putting it in a picture and putting it in a house, like draping on something, I'm like, oh my god, so I totally, totally want to, I didn't really want to do that one before, and now I really totally want to do that one. I need to stop turning the page, probably. <sighs> oh my god, you guys. Ooh, look at that one. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to stop looking. So anyway, I have the 2017 and the 2018. Now, aside from Locke already only being $8 a book, I think it's 8 or $9 a book, magazine, whatever you want to call it, it's bi-monthly. That's like less than a dollar a pattern. There's like eight, nine, ten patterns in each each one. The older years, I'm gonna tell you this now because I got the two older ones. The older ones, 2017 and 2018, were off again on top of it. I don't remember how much they were. <coughs> $45, I wanna say, for six books. We won't try. <laughs> we just won't try. But it's a it's it's a phenomenal deal. A Christmas block. Which there's one in every year. It's actually an idea book. So I'm super stoked about that. My 2018 block books. It's those I need to put up there. Oh gosh, have mercy. It's kind of heavy. So one more box from Missouri Star. Oh wait, 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 my card. I have no idea, but they have a card in every package. Thanks. I have no idea. I can't read this at all. Cliff. It looks like K L I F. I, I don't know, but anyway, thank you for packing my box. I didn't remember this one either. I have fabric from a line called Fiddle DD. It was out last year. It's the cutest, cutest. I keep saying about everything. We're all fabric junkies, right? <laughs> it's the cutest, one of the cutest lines. I adore it. I have two jelly rolls and some yards of fabric. And they happen to go on sale with the Fiddle Dee Dee collection. Doo -doo. And so I got another yard, just in case, you know, I wanted to add another border. And this is it, it's purple. It, to this, it to me, it looks like little hoof prints, but I have, they call it petal. So it's like floating petals, maybe? I don't know, but love it, love it. And I know this was a daily deal. 
I've been wanting to get this forever. Forever. Yes, of course, I want to do one of the rugs. And this was a daily deal one of the days. So, it is um, 50 yards. I don't know how big of a rug that will get me. But I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to do like a scrap rug. I don't know if I'm going to try and make it scraps of all similar colors. My husband hate rug, hates rugs, and I love rugs. So I'm debating on whether I should go with, ooh, the purple. I got a purple fabric on sale. My daughter's room is purple, and she has like a furry rug, and I love it, but it's just like every little poly pocket and bead and piece of glitter and sticker. <laughs> What else does she get it? Slime sticks to it to the point where I think I'd like to shove that rug somewhere. It's very special. I hate that rug now. It's like this on the floor, but it's purple. It's super adorable, but she's five and it is a disaster. So Maybe I'll make her a purple rug, and she'll love it. She'll be like, Mommy, we can make the rug. Yay, Mommy, we can make the rug. So that was my, I know it's only, well, yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day today. It would be January 19th. Oh, my gosh. That means tomorrow I have to watch the news. I'm not going to get political. I'm just saying I'll be watching the news. <sighs> and this says, thanks, Brianna. Smiley face and a heart, Jen. Thank you, Jen, for packing my box. I love all of you guys there. So that is my January purchases. Except for I know I got one thing more coming. But after the night I had at work with feeling so... How could I do that? How could I not think of that? I needed a pick-me-up. So thanks for sharing my <laughs> purchase. I don't know, I guess I'll call it a haul. It's technically multiple, multiple purchases, but anyway, it's what I've bought so far in January, and I promise I'm done. <laughs> Have a great quilting day.